guys, it's your boy Ghost back with another episode of the Discord.js series. This is going to be the last episode for today, and today we're going to be making a pain command and an uptime command. Uh, so what we're going to want to do to start off is we want to come into our commands uh, folder here, and we want to create another folder, and we're going to name this utilities. Inside the utilities, we're going to do a pain js and we're going to do a uptime.js so these two are these are going to be our two commands for today uh, basically so uh if you guys have been paying attention in the last video you know that we run our constant command uh and for our uptime we're actually going to need the ms package so before we do that we're going to do the yarn uh add ms and that's going to add our ms to our package there we go and uh, so now we're going to be able to get right into the uptime uh, command uh, so now uh we're going to start we're going to say const command equals require this is going to be a short video i hope um structures slash command we're gonna close this off const ms equals require ms that easy i'm gonna do module dot exports equals class extends command I'll open this up a sync run message open that up again message dot channel dot send back ticks my uptime is backslash back ticks dollar sign squeeze lines ms parentheses this dot client dot uptime comma another pair of squiggly lawn true i'm gonna just close all that out then after the squiggly line we're going to do backslash backtick. Then we're going to close that. And that's just going to be that. Okay, and then we're going to do this. And then that's, that's, the, that's the code right there. Uh, why did I do that? There. So the uptime's done. That's all we need, basically, for the uptime command. Moving on to the ping command. Uh, later in the video, or later in the series, we're going to be doing a embed uh, command uh, so we'll come back to the uptime and pain and we'll add embeds uh, to the commands but for now we're just going to do the uh, we're just going to do a basic ping command so we're going to do constant uh, command equals require we're going to do the same thing we did last time in the uptime structures command and we're going to close that we do module dot exports equals class extends command keep in mind all the code will be in the description down below on my github uh, repository so make sure you guys go check that out make sure you guys don't have any errors uh, don't run into any coding problems if you do and the code still isn't working uh, you guys can join my discord server and uh, I can help you uh, directly from there when do aliases when do um, let's do pawn and come down close that come down again and we'll go down a sync run message gonna open this up const message msg equals await dot message dot channel dot send it's not supposed to be a period here await message dot channel dot send pain in and then we'll do dot 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 to make it seem like it's loading const late latent latency equals message dot created timestamp minus the message created timestamp close that const choices equals 
Is this really my pain? God forbid you do have a high pain. It will come out. Is this okay? I can't. We have to do a backslash if you're going to do a apostrophe. I can't look. And then we're going to do come out, comma. And we're going to do another one. And we're going to do I hope this, I hope it isn't bad. Close that. Const response equals choices and we do math dot four math random times the choices length we we'll come out we'll close that we will come down to our const and do message dot edit back ticks money sign squiggly lines response close squiggly lines bot latency when do backslash back ticks money sign brackets latency outside brackets ms backslash and come out of brackets and we can do api latency backslash ticks squiggly line brackets math dot round this dot client dot ws dot pain come out ms backslash two back ticks close that out turn this down okay and that should be everything And uh, we should be good here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do no dot. And the bot is running. So let me pull over my Discord here. We're going to do ping. No problem here. Pawn. Ping. Pawn. Why is it not working? Up time. I forget. Uh, utilities, uptime, pain, structures. I don't think I forgot anything. Did I? It should work. Where's my Discord? Pain. The bot's online. Let's just clear node. Okay, we clearly have an error somewhere, so I'll come back when I find out what the error is. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, so uh, I figured out what the issue was. Uh, we didn't add, we, uh, so I lied in the last episode saying we we didn't have to touch the uh, structures uh, folder, but we do. Uh, so in our ghost docs client, we had to add um, from line six right here, we had to add down to line 19 or line 16. Um, so basically now, with that being said, our commands should work. Bingo. All right, sorry for that mishap. Um, remember the code is going to be in the link down below in my GitHub. So if you guys have any, if you guys just want to copy and paste my, uh, client into your client, uh, to save yourself the confusion, um, I'm totally fine with that because I myself didn't know what was happening. So I had to observe every line of code in every file just now, uh, which took a little bit of time. Um, but I'll shorten this down a bit. So it's hopefully... Uh, shorter than it is but with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video it's a pretty short video and um in the next video we're going to be 
we're going to be making a server info command. And um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys leave a like, make sure you guys subscribe. If you have any problems, like always join the Discord, I can help you directly. Um, with that being said, uh, I'm Ghost, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.